Again, for these examples, try them on your own first and then come back to the video and you can see the solutions. Okay, so, but make sure you've tried these on your own first. And again, main thing is we want to show steps. Now, one thing I'm going to mention about this is that this divide here really is a divide we're going to start getting rid of. We're going to use divide as a fraction line. Okay, we're going to start getting rid of that divide sign because it actually can be problematic because um, really we want to say that times and divide are the same order or same uh, level of operation. But sometimes it can be confusing if we if we do uh, calculations in a line. So we don't want to be thinking left to right. Okay, and that's sometimes what happens when we put this divide in. We start thinking left to right. And this divide can then sometimes be problematic. And we'll maybe see some examples of this later. Okay, but we're going to start phasing that divide out. And we're just going to stick with this fraction divide. Okay, so let's do this problem here. So we're going to do the numerator and denominator separately because it's implied that there the numerator is in big brackets and the denominator is in big brackets. Okay, so we're going to do minus five, negative five plus negative times negative is positive, so we get plus eighteen on top. This means negative two times negative two because the negative is inside the bracket, so that's positive four. This is negative 3 times negative 3 because the negative is in the brackets again, so we get plus 9. Okay, so then we work out the numerator. We end up with positive 13 in the numerator, positive 13 in the denominator. 13 divided by 13 is 1. So we end up doing the divide last. Okay, here, again, what's implied is the numerator is done separately from the denominator. So I'm going to do the brackets first. And I'm going to do a divide here. Here I'm going to do the divide first. So 8 divided by negative 8 is negative 1. Put it in brackets, keep it organized. Plus 4. So negative 12 divided by 2 is going to be negative 6. Negative 1 plus 4 is positive 3. Six, negative 6 divided by positive 3 is going to be negative, And it's going to give me negative 2. Okay, so those are, make sure you're showing steps for these. So bed mass is kind of one, one way you can look at it. There are rules that everyone agreed upon, but there's also this idea of natural order of strength. Exponents are more powerful than multiplication division, so the exponents are done first. Multiplication division are more powerful than add and subtract, so they're done before add and subtract. And what we can also say is that exponents can distribute over multiplication division and multiplication can distribute over add and subtract okay but what we can't say is that exponents distribute over add and subtract so there's some extra practice here that i would like you to work on there's some uh, examples here okay uh, some harder examples if you want to see some of the harder problems and then there's a five dice operation order of operations game where you can roll five dice okay there's an app on the next set of notes but there's you can roll five dice and then you have to use order of operations to get certain numbers okay and there's an app for this you can actually just play that app on directly on the app there's another one that you'll do for the next set of notes which you'll which are you'll have to roll your own dice so i've attached an app for that that you can actually just do it digitally